Hello, I'm Fly Lady Cat, and I'm here with a special gift for you, and that is a free Patreon video. This Patreon video is one of hundreds and hundreds that I have on my Patreon channel, A Better Life with Fly Lady Cat at patreon.com. And on this video, you will see that we're talking more about how we think and implement the Fly Lady system into your life rather than the specifics about the Fly Lady system. Um, so I call it a mentor, a mini mentoring session, and it is $5 a month if you decide that you want to enroll at Patreon and become one of my patrons. $5 a month gives you five videos a week, week after week, month after month. If that's something that you love, please come over and enjoy these and be part of our special group. There are no advertisements on Patreon, so you'll be able to enjoy it end to end without interruption. If you feel that you'd like to have a little bit more mentoring, maybe some personal accountability or some help, you can get one personal mentoring session a month with me for $25. That is my tier two. That's going to give you the 25 minute mentoring session and the videos all inclusive for $25 a month. If you need more help, you can get two mentoring sessions a month plus the videos for $50 a month. And if you want to go all the way and really help yourself establish some great habits and get into the flow of the Fly Lady system, then I recommend that you go for four mentorings a month, which is $100 a month, including the free videos. These are all great systems for you. If you can't join Patreon, that's fine. Do your best on the Fly Lady system here on this channel. I'm sure you can, but if you do need some help, please come over and see how you like it. That's it for today. I hope you have a beautiful day and I hope you always remember to be beautiful because you are beautiful. Enjoy the video. Hello, I'm Fly Lady Cat, and today I'm talking to little kids. Little kids, you know if you're a little kid. So if you're a little kid, come listen to Fly Lady Cat. Today we're talking about the Fly Lady system. Do you know that fly is F-L-Y? You didn't? Well, it is, and it stands for finally, that's F, loving, that's L, yourself, that's Y. So when you hear fly, it means finally loving yourself. It's a good thing to love yourself. And that's what your mom is doing when she's following the fly lady system. And that's what you're doing when you're following the fly lady system. So for little kids, we're gonna talk about your morning routine. And that just means, it's a fancy word for meaning, what do you do first thing in the morning every single day? Because when you do it every day, it's a routine or a habit. The first thing you're gonna do is make your bed. That means when you get up in the morning, you run, go potty, then you come back and you pull your sheets up all the way to the top of the bed. Then you pull the covers up all the way to the top of the bed. Then you put your pillow on top and then maybe you have a stuffed animal or a blanket or something special that you wanna put on your pillow. And that's the way your bed will stay until you get back in it at night. So the nicer you make it, the more comfortable it will be. But it's not your mama's job and she's not gonna fix it. After you make it, she's very proud of you and she wants you to be proud of you too. So every day practice making your bed better and better. Don't worry, there's no perfect. So she won't want you to be perfect. She just wants you to do your best job. After you've made your bed, she's gonna tell you to go wash your face and brush your teeth. So come on, let's go in the bathroom. Look at that bathroom. It looks so nice. Remember when it used to be messy? No more. So now we're gonna go in the bathroom and we're not gonna mess it up. We might splash it up a little bit and we might use a towel, but we know how to dry off the counter and hang our towel back, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is wash our face. Get some water in your hands. <laughs> wash your face. Dry it with a towel. Get the sleep out of your eyes. Wake up. Next, we're gonna brush our teeth. Put some toothpaste on there, or maybe your mother will for you, and get your teeth really good. Get these over here real good, and these, and these, and these. Get them all really good. You might even brush your tongue. Yes, and your breath is gonna smell like fresh. <laughs> you won't have a stinky, sleepy breath anymore. 
Rinse your mouth out real good, and when you're done, you might notice that after you spit out your toothpaste, there's a long line of toothpaste bubbles in your sink. Let's rinse those out. Get some water in your hand and splash it on that and rub it around till it's all gone. Now you can dry your hands on the towel and hang the towel up. Now that looks nice and you look nice. Now let's brush your hair. Get your comb or your brush and brush your hair. Now if you have long hair like Fly Lady Cat, you're gonna need your mom to help you get the tangles out sometimes because you're still a little kid. You can do a pretty good job, but she needs to help you. And then my, she might want to put it in a ponytail for you or a braid or whatever you and she decide you want. You might just want it to hang down, but it's something that they, you need to decide together. If your hair is short, you might not have a hard time. Maybe your mother wants you to put something in it to make it stick up. That's pretty fun, so maybe you can do that, but maybe she needs to help and she need, makes it stick up. Now look, Miss Cat's hair is sticking up, but it doesn't look good because it's supposed to be long. But short hair, sometimes you want it to stick up so you look really good. All right, next thing we're gonna do is put on our clothes. So, we're wearing PJs, right? So are these PJs still clean? Ask your mom. Yes, they are. Okay, if they are, we're gonna put them in the place she wants us to put them. We're gonna fold them in half and fold them in half again Maybe she wants you to put them under your pillow. Maybe she wants them to go in the drawer. Maybe she wants them to hang on a hook. Every mom is different, and every mom is just right for you. So put your PJs where mama says. Next, we're gonna put on our clothes. Did you pick out your clothes last night? Do you know what you're gonna to do today? I hope you did. Put your pants on, put your top on, or your shirt, put your socks on. Put your shoes on. Do you need a jacket or a sweater? Let's get that on if it's cold outside. But first we're gonna go into the kitchen. Now look, is your room good? Did you close the dresser drawers? You did? Are your PJs dirty? Did your mom say to put them in the laundry basket? Are they hanging out? They are, pop them in there so they're all in there. Stay in there, pajamas. Now we're going to the kitchen because we're gonna have breakfast. We're doing our morning routine, and the last thing we do is eat breakfast. So let's go have some breakfast with mom. After breakfast is done, because you're a little kid, but you're big enough to watch this video, I know you can walk. Can you walk? I hope you can. Can you carry your plate or your bowl and your spoon to the sink? You can? Okay, let's do that. How about your glass? Go back and get your cup off the table and let's take it to the sink too. Or maybe you're a big little kid and you can put your dish or your bowl or your spoon or your cup right in the dishwasher. Ask your mom, she'll tell you. You're so lucky you have a mom who can tell you what to do. All right, now we're gonna go on and have a great day. If you're going to school, then you might have a backpack. Is it by the door? And maybe your mama wants your shoes by the door and you don't even have them on your feet yet, but they're by the door so you won't forget. Put your shoes on and go to school. You could be in pre-K or nursery school or kindergarten or even first grade if you're a little kid. You might be staying home today. You might stay home all the time or you might be homeschooled and it's all good. I want you to have a really happy day and know that you've done your morning routine. Now, three times a day, we're gonna do a clutter check. Do you even know what that is? Well, when you have toys on the floor, or games, or pieces of things you've been playing with, and you leave them there, or your clothes, or your shoes, or anything that's not in its home, it's called clutter. Did you know that you live in a home did you know that all of your stuff lives in a home too? Where does your mama keep the glasses? Yep, that's where they live, in the cupboard. That's their home. Where do the spoons go in your house? Right there in the drawer, that's right. That's where they go when they're clean and that's where they live, that's their home. Well, it's the same with all of your things. If you play with dolls or trucks or Legos 
or light brights or tea sets or there's so many little things blocks there's so many things you play with you might have a pop-up tent no matter what you have it has a home so when you're done playing with it you put it back in its home otherwise it's lost it doesn't have a home it's sad also when something has a home you know right where to find it so if you have Legos and they live in a special box then that's where you put them when you're done that's their home and guess what the next time you want to play with your Legos they're all right there or maybe you have books and they go on a shelf not in a box not in the bottom of the closet not under your bed not in the living room on the couch they go on a shelf that's where you put them so you can always find your favorite book all right so that's how you so when we have clutter check that means that sometimes we don't think we're not mindful we're not thinking and we leave our things out of their homes so guess what clutter check clutter check happens three times a day after breakfast after lunch or when you get home from school and after dinner so you're gonna look because mom will say it's clutter check and she's gonna look because she has clutter too and we don't want to have clutter anymore we want to learn to put our things away and mom's practicing that and she wants you to practice it too so that when you're grown you won't have clutter so we're gonna look around and we're gonna see what we left out so if you left some Legos on the ground pick them up and go put them in the box if you left some books on the floor pick them up and go put them on the shelf if you left some dolls or toys or trucks on the floor pick them up and put them where they live all of your things put them back where they live and here's a really good hint when you play with two or three things at a time that live in different places that's fine but if you play with more than three things at a time you really don't give your poor little toys any attention and you just step on them and they get stuck under the couch and that's not very fun for you and it's not very fun for your toys so put your toys away each time you play with them someday when mama says clutter check you're gonna look around and say mom there's no clutter just the three little toys I was playing with and she'll say good for you high five right and that's what you want you want to be proud of yourself and you want to be proud of your mom and your mom wants to be proud of you that's clutter check now the other thing that we do is a before bed routine remember a routine is something we do every day we go to bed every day so our before bed routine is that we listen to mom when she says there's 30 minutes before we start our before bed routine and when the 30 minutes is up she'll say it's oh it's only five more minutes start thinking about it start thinking about putting your toys away start thinking about watching the end of this program because when it's over it's time for bed because we go to bed at the same time every night the first thing we do is put our toys in their home that's the first thing next we go get our PJs out and we look and see what we want to wear for tomorrow and put those clothes out what are we doing tomorrow mom and she'll tell us and she can help you pick out what you want to wear tomorrow all the way down to your socks and shoes now you've got your pajamas so go in the bathroom because we're going to take a bath or a shower and you're going to put your dirty clothes in the dirty clothes hamper or the basket that she gives you you're not going to put your dirty clothes on the floor because guess what when you get out of the shower or out of the bathtub and you're wet you're going to stand on your clothes and they'll get wet and yucky for your mom to wash ew put them in there while they're dry then take your bath or your shower then dry off really good and hang your towel up your mom will make it short a shorter place for you if you can't reach the rack she'll put a hook on the wall for you to hang your towel on so hang your towel up when you're dry put on your PJs what else do we have to do before we get ready for bed oh yeah brush our teeth just like we did in the morning brush 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 all the places she may even want to check and see if she can help a little when you're done 
and you spit out your, your bubbly mouth and you look in the sink, there's a bubbly streak, rinse it out. Put your toothpaste, toothbrush wherever she tells you to put it and the toothpaste go, gets put away in the drawer or wherever she tells you to put it. Then hang up your towel after you rinse the sink and dry your hands. Maybe you've washed your hair and you need to comb it. Maybe she'll help you if it's long or she doesn't need to help you if you're short because you can brush it or comb it yourself. Now we're going to pick out a book. Don't take long, go right where it lives, on the shelf. Pick out your favorite book. It could be a chapter book, and Mama's going to read you one chapter, or it can be a picture book, and Mom's going to read you one picture book. And this is a time for you to relax and get ready to snuggle in, but don't forget to kiss Daddy goodnight, or Mom if Dad's reading you the story. Because there's nothing better for a Mama or a Daddy to do than hug you when you're sweet and clean out of the shower or the bath. Okay, get in your bed, read your story, let mama read you a story, or you could read it to her, and then hugs and kisses, say your prayers, and go to sleep. Have a wonderful day, fly baby babies, and know that you are beautiful.